Moda Vlog in the Rain. Well, good morning, YouTubers. Or YouTube viewers, I should say. This is Cruise Man, and my luck ran out on the rain. Well, it looks like my luck ran out. While I'm in drinking coffee, it started raining. So the bike is wet. I'm gonna have a wet ride home. And as you can see, it looks like there's more rain coming. This is why I always carry a microfiber with me. lightly clean the windshield and it's gonna get wet again probably as you can see it is very wet this morning I rode uh, to Einstein's for coffee about uh, 5 30 this morning and it was dry out now the weather app said uh, we were gonna have rain or even said it was raining but I looked outside the streets were completely dry so I thought, what the heck, I'll give it a try. I'll just go ahead and ride. You know, sometimes the these weather apps get it wrong. Well, turns out the rain did show up, as you can see on my windshield and from the roads around me. But you know what? That's just uh, part of riding a bike. Sometimes you get stuck out in the weather. Now I do have a waterproof liner for this jacket that I could put on. I could actually wear it over the jacket. It, it will go underneath or on top. It's actually kind of cool. That's why I love these Olympia jackets. But it's not raining right now. And I'm hoping that I can make the 12 minute ride home and get there before it starts raining again. However, it looks like I'm going to be stuck at this little intersection for quite some time because there's a lot of traffic. It's 7 o'clock in the morning, so we're getting a lot of the uh, rush hour traffic. But if you're new to the channel, I want to welcome you to Cruise Man's Garage YouTube channel. This is a channel for everything to do with motorcycles and even a few other topics from time to time. So if you enjoy motor vlogs and accessory reviews and installation videos, how-to tips and tricks, you're in the right place. I would invite you and welcome you to please click on that little subscribe button down below. And don't forget, if you click on that little bell icon, YouTube will notify you when we come out with new videos. So, is it raining where you are? We've had about three or four days of rain. Um, in fact, I haven't been able to do a motor vlog in quite some time just because of the rain. So, I usually don't prefer to ride in the rain for a couple of reasons. Well, number one is safety. I don't usually motor vlog in the rain because this camera on my helmet is not waterproof. It's using the media mod from GoPro, and the media mod is not waterproof, unfortunately. But usually, if the rain is light enough, it won't affect it negatively. Now, this other GoPro on my handlebars, it is waterproof, so I'm not worried about it. But are you getting rain where you live? Because, man, we have been getting it for the last few days, big time. We have had some real downpours. In fact, we were tracking a storm a couple nights ago that looked like it was headed right for our house, and it had baseball-sized hail. And we had to replace our roof back in 2016 because of a hailstorm, so I wasn't looking forward to that again. But we lucked out and it went north of us and we didn't even get any rain much less hail and i mean to tell you that 
I was watching the storm tracker and it looked like it was headed right for our house. But any, anyway, my one thing I want to talk about today is to update you a little bit more on this Monimoto GPS tracker for the motorcycle. Now a lot of you have commented on that video. Some of you already own the Monimoto and seem very pleased with it. But I want to address a couple of issues that I did not address in that video. One issue came, just I became aware of it because of some of your comments. In fact, Brian sent me an email the other day asking me this question, saying that the Monimoto uses the 3G network. And I was unaware of that. And that the 3G network was going to be abandoned in the United States, I think sometime in 2022. And what, you know, what does that mean for Monimoto? So I reached out to my contact at Monimoto and asked them about this. And apparently that is correct. It does use 3G network. And I can't give you details because I've been asked not to, but I will tell you that uh, I can tell you that they are working on a 4G LTE version of the Monimoto. And there will be an upgrade path for those of you that already own the Monimoto. Now that's all I can say. I can't really tell you what that upgrade path is or when it's going to happen. The new 4G version has not been released yet. Uh, I was completely unaware of that going in or I would have mentioned it in the video up front. I've also had a few of you say that you don't really need a GPS tracker on a Goldwing uh, because we have this, uh, you know, the smart key and it's kind of a secure bike. And to be honest with you, yes, it, it, it would probably be pretty tough for somebody to steal a Goldwing unless two or three guys actually tried to pick it up and put it in a pickup truck. But realize that my audience is more than just Goldwing owners. And even Goldwing owners sometimes own more than one motorcycle. So you might have a sport bike or an adventure bike or some other motorcycle that is a target for theft, much more so than a Goldwing. Now, personally, after thinking about it for a few days, I've thought of another use for the Monimoto that I didn't think about when I did the video. I'm going to put one of these in my Bush Tech trailer. I'm going to figure out a place on that Bush Tech to put that GPS tracker. And I think with me on the motorcycle, I'll still be close enough with the key fob to the trailer. It's only about seven or eight feet behind me. I think I'll still be within range. The reason I want to do that is because when I take a road trip and stay at a hotel, sometimes I unhook that trailer. You know, and I will use a, a little chain or a cable to tie it up to a pole if I can find one. Sometimes I just have to leave it sitting out in the parking lot so I can go ride the bike without the trailer. And I'm always wondering if somebody's just going to walk up and take that damn trailer. Well, this Monimoto would alert me to that fact. So that's how I think I'm going to use the Monimoto, at least one way that I'm going to use it. So you guys give me some ideas on how you would use a GPS tracker on your motorcycle or your other gear. Maybe it's your ATV or four wheelers or jet skis or how would you use it or how do you use it? And I didn't luck out by missing the rain. It's, it's getting me. Fortunately, this big F4 Customs Plus 4 windshield is keeping the majority of the rain off of me. I'm sure my GoPro has got water all over it, so I apologize if you're seeing water drops. I think I'll go ahead and go into rain mode. Even though I find that Econ mode is even less aggressive than rain mode but you know i'll trust Honda, honda's engineers and i'll use rain mode here for a little bit do you guys use rain mode 
when you ride in the rain i'm just curious see it it's revving much much higher to get into fifth gear in rain mode than it does in econ mode but maybe it somehow affects the traction control or something i, I really don't know all of the things that rain mode does other than affect the shift points so if any of you know out there let me know i'm just going to go on through this light because i don't think i could stop But I do notice that the motorcycle revs much higher in rain mode than it does in econ mode. So I typically just stay in econ mode, but be curious to know what you guys think about that. Yeah, my arms are starting to get wet. Now I'm going to have to wash the bike when the weather clears up because nothing messes up the motorcycle like rain or wet roads. But my bike was due for a good wash anyway, so at least now I have an excuse. It's really not raining that hard. It's just when you're moving at 40 miles an hour in the rain, it feels like it's coming down hard, but it's really not. It's just barely raining. So how many of you ride in the rain on a regular basis? Do you even own a rain suit? I don't. I don't own a rain suit. I'll just use the liner that comes... Well, actually, that's not true. I do have a set of frog togs that I keep in the trailer on road trips. And uh, I have used them. However, 90% of the time when I put them on before a ride, it never rains. If Ricky and I are on a road trip, we always tell each other, hey, if we put the frog togs on, it won't rain. And it's almost worked every time. There are a few times where we've had to pull over on the side of the road or under an underpass, get out the frog togs because it's pouring rain. We have done quite a few road trips where we ended up in some major, major torrential rains. And I remember one time going from, I think we were going from uh, Yellowstone to Deadwood. And man we got in a rainstorm and there was nowhere to pull off it was this just long straight stretch of highway and we got soaked when we got to the hotel in deadwood we were soaked to the bone my boots were soaking wet my socks were soaked everything on us was just soaking wet and we probably rode 60 or 75 miles in a downpour and it was raining when we pulled into the hotel. Do you have any stories like that? What's the worst rain or storm you've ridden in? Put it in the comments down below. I'd like to hear about it. So anyway, that's about it for me. We're going to call it a, a day. I'm going to get home and start cleaning up the bike a little bit. And I want to thank you again for watching my motor vlogs. Put your questions and comments down below. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. That does help us with our YouTube algorithms, by the way. Anytime we get a thumbs up, it does help the channel and uh, helps us progress. So I appreciate that support. Thanks again for watching today. I will see you on the next Cruise Man's Motor Vlog. Hopefully in drier weather. <laughs>